All right, everybody, welcome back. Um, this week's a little bit of a short week, so we're gonna keep doing some stuff on the taillights, maybe see if we can get some things finished on the headlights. So we'll see how far we can get. All right, I've got some uh, leftover here from the front uh, grill. So I'm gonna put some here, and there's place back here as well, kind of here. So I'm just gonna cut those out real quick. Uh, again, probably won't mount them, but just uh, get them in place. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like from the uh, back. And here's the one, kind of on the side scoop here. So again, got them cut out, but uh, we won't join them just yet. Okay, so I got my little inserts there and there, kind of uh, fiber last them in place. So now I'm just kind of I'm in the mode of cleaning up. Um, once I get to a little bit better, I will do some uh, filler, kind of make it look semi-decent. Okay, so I got some of the filler on. Um, I'm really not that good, good with uh, complex shapes and especially when you don't have any access. So we'll see how it turns out. Kind of let it set up for a little bit and go for some sanding. And there as well. All right, first go at sanding. Um, probably clean it up, put a little more filler on and go again. Not too bad though. Okay, I made a little uh, I guess I'll call it a tool, spraying tool. Just cut it out of uh, some thicker, don't even wanna call it cardboard, but something. Kinda of like cardboard, just some thicker stuff here. So I kinda of could get the exact shape that I was looking for, kind of for that fillet, that radius at the back. So again, I think this time, um, it already looks kinda of more to shape, and so I think the sanding will go a little faster. Um, so I think what I'm learning with a lot of what I do is a little bit more planning will actually make things go smoother, better, faster. So, I don't know. Let me know if I'm missing something. Again, I used kind of a, a socket to kind of try and get the radius here that I was looking for. And again, worked out really well. All right, so I got these guys cleaned up. Again, I'm really liking the uh, transition and what I was able to do there filling in that gap. So I think that looks pretty nice. Again, we got all our pass-throughs blocked. We'll go move on to something else. Okay, this is on the back side. Again, kind of got some filler in there. Uh, this is already here. This is kind of the color of their, I think when they join their fiberglass pieces, but it's just able to put some filler on there and the thought is to try and get things smooth. 
and on the other side as well. So we'll let that set up and then we'll go after it with some sandpaper. Okay, here's another tail option. So it's kind of hard to discern with all the colors, uh, but essentially there's kind of a bevel here. So I'm picking from the bevel there, and there's a bevel here. So those ones are the same. God, maybe I should spray paint this white. Anyway, the thought is, is I could have that kind of pick up from here, and essentially, rather than have a cutout that kind of goes into the fender, this can kind of wrap up and around, kind of, kind of create a new shape. So I think this might work just because um, the front headlights are kind of recessed back in, you know, there's, it's not like it breaks out to the side. So I think this might work. Um, I don't know, I'll probably let it simmer, kind of let it marinate for a little bit, see if I like it. All right, one other thought I had is I do have the I'll call them the running LED lights. Uh, you know, when you do the blinker, you know, kind of a sequential goes like that. So I was thinking about putting that in, kind of recessing it in here and having it wrap around. So that way, like if I'm turning, you can kind of see from the side or again, it's got the red brake light. Uh, so you can see that from the side too. So I don't know, I'm kind of liking it, kind of digging it. May go a little bit further, we'll see. All right, people. I'm liking this one, I think, over anything else. Um, the other one where I had it notched out, it was pretty aggressive looking. Um, the only thing, it just for me, it kind of made it seem like there was a bumper in this, and it kind of almost seemed like just, anyway, nothing in the middle. So I'm, I am liking this a lot better. Um, I'm going to go forward with uh, trying to make my first fiberglass mold. So the way I see it, again, I'm trying to do some forethought here but uh, I'm gonna need, I'll call it two halves, because I think I want the an, uh, something from this side as well as something from this side. So I think what I'll do is I will go ahead, I've, I've been liking my joint compound. Um, so I will, I might get like a piece of plywood just to kind of get a base kind of set up, just something to stick it to it. Um, so I'll probably take take this off because um, this one will just match the uh, existing shell. So it'll just cover this this void here. So get that in place. Um, kind of cover it all up with the uh, drywall compound. Um, make this, again, from the drywall compound and, and as well as get uh, an inside made all from the drywall compound. Uh, from there, I will look to seal it up, um, put some wax on, all that stuff that I've been trying to learn um, and try and make my first mold. We'll see how this works. All right, so I put some uh, plywood in place, kind of cut it loosely to shape, just so that I could have some backing um, to put some of this drywall compound on. So this is kind of after the first coat. Um, I'll let it set up for a while. It'll 
it'll take a little bit because it's a little bit thick. But that's kind of what it looks like. Again, I think I'm pleased with this uh, decision. Again, it will need a lot of, uh, probably several more coats. Um, I need to kind of have this one kind of come out a little bit more this way. But uh, I think it'll look good. I'm really, really liking this. So anyway, I will sand it, put more on, sand it, put more on. Um, at that time, I will seal it. I need to figure out, uh, again, before I get too far, where I'm gonna have my mold lines. And then I'll put on some like PVA, some gel coat, followed by the fiberglass. So this will be my first attempt at a mold and something tells me it will not go quite as planned. Should be fun. I should mention one more thing. Um, another reason for doing this is um, if for whatever reason it doesn't turn out or I don't like it, this one's probably the easiest one to recover from. So again, just pretty easy to take all this out and have it be just like it was. Okay, this is after uh, I think two coats and two sandings. Um, I'm really liking it. Um, I realize the sun's on it, so it might be hard to see, but I kind of, I think that shape looks really good. So I'm, I'm really happy I went this way. So um, I'll do, I think I need at least one more coat here on the outside. The inside's a little, a little rougher, but uh, to aid it, I've got a little space heater there trying to kind of dry out the uh, joint compound. But yeah, I'm thinking that's looking really good. Really excited. All right, this is after another uh, application and sanding of the joint compound, drywall stuff. And again, the outside here looks just great. I mean, it's matched kind of just perfectly. Um, I really like how this is matching the bevel and coming up around, you know, so it's kind of matching both bevels. I think that looks really sharp. I'm really liking it. Um, and here, you can see I've still got some things to work out. It's just a lot harder to apply and sand. So the outside was much easier to get quicker than the inside. So I need to do that kind of probably one more time on the inside. Um, there is just the slightest round, even though it looks sharp, there's the slightest round on these bevels. And this is just sharp, sharp. So I'll want to just kind of come in very carefully and put that round on. Um, other than that, I guess I am looking at just one thing. So I... I'm thinking this might need to be two molds, or um, anyway, I'm just imagining if I if I fiberglass everything there, this little feature here, like how it kind of hooks out, and even up here how it hooks out, I just don't see, I don't know, maybe I could like pull it off that way. Anyway, I just worry that I'm just gonna fiberglass and it's just gonna be completely stuck. So I might have to make, call it like a seam, a parting line or something, basically where I can just do one half and then the other and so there'll be two two molds so I will put some more on let it dry up sand and then I think we'll be ready to seal it up and start making our mold okay um, sanded it down to like I don't know 600 grit or something probably doesn't even need to be that good I'm gonna put a top coat on to kind of seal it up I just kind of wanted to give you a quick before um, kind of just broke the edges just ever so slightly trying to get kind of that same kind of that same look there so 
But uh, I'll go ahead and spray it and let it dry and then go on to the next step. Okay, so I put a clear, uh, several coats of the, of a clear coat on there. I don't know if you can tell. You can see that kind of reflection, maybe a little bit. But uh, real smooth, kind of glossy. Um, once it sets up though, it does have a little bit of kind of like the orange peel. So I'll probably hit it again with some sandpaper and get it smooth, smooth. And then I think I'll uh, wax it. I need to start kind of putting on my, uh, my borders, you know, where I'm gonna have uh, the mold end. I'm, ugh, I'm rapidly running out of time. So we'll see how far we get. All right, so I put the modeling clay kind of around the uh, edge. Um, I'm realizing this, this will be a little interesting, meaning that uh, the actual part, so I realize I'm making the mold, but the part, it's gonna actually taper in. So I'm not quite sure how to do that with the mold, but um, this will at least give me enough um, when I fiberglass it that it'll be, if anything, a little bit big so I can trim it down and put it in. But uh, anyway, modeling clay's on. It's roughly kind of to shape. I've tried to kind of radius kind of the inside corners. So now I'm gonna make sure it's all nice and clean, put on some PVA and let it dry. And uh, from there, we'll put on some gel coat. Okay, so I've got the, uh, trying to go through the process here. Put some wax on, put the BVA on, kind of let that dry, then put the gel coat on, and then kind of let that get tacky, and then put on a thin layer of fiberglass, followed by two thicker layers of fiberglass. And that's kind of, hopefully that'll be the first mold. Hopefully it'll come off and the inside will look nice and we can just put fiberglass on that and have a part but I'm sure something will go wrong. We'll, we'll figure that out and keep going. Please uh, give me your comments. Uh, I need to know what to learn. Okay, so for the gel coat, it says uh, at least two to four hours, but overnight might be preferred. So I guess I'm gonna leave you guys hanging. Uh, we're not gonna take this one off. We'll show you next week. Okay, update. So uh, we've been working a lot on fiberglass, body, stuff like that. Uh, there's been some comments that say, you know, what about the drivetrain? So I am working on that. Um, I have secured a new inverter board. So from here, I've got to um, get the inverter, essentially take out the motor, get into the inverter, get the board out, put the new one in. I likely will have to um, send the controller back as well, because usually it fries kind of both ends of the can. So um, that will be coming soon. Like I said, there's a lot of uh, shipping back and forth, but yes, coming very soon. All right, that's all the time we have for this week. On this Thanksgiving weekend, I'm thankful for all of you. See you next week.